What up, guys? It's your boy, Dadaster, here. Um, I just wanted to take a quick moment to do a rant about this whole crown gifting thing. Um, I don't typically give my opinion on things in the game as it's, as it's happening, but uh, I thought this was important um, to address because I'm frustrated. Um, this isn't scripted. This is me just kind of coming off the cuff. Um, you know, I feel like one of the things I really enjoy uh, about this game uh, is kind of getting taken away from us. Uh, the game has made it super simple um, to, to make gold passively um, with just a little bit of time. And at this point, there's really nothing left to spend it on um besides alti pots or housing um and as somebody who uh you know is on a trials team i understand i'll have to get the alti pots still but like i already have like four houses complete including a guild hall i almost have enough master writ vouchers to make a second guild hall um and the only thing worth making money for was buying crowns uh, i feel like a lot of the other content creators maybe have uh tiptoed around it a bit um but i'm just gonna say it like here's what's going on and hopefully getting it out there letting everybody know what was happening um can have the Zoss come up with some creative solutions instead of what they're doing right now. But um, I personally know of two people who have committed this fraud and gotten their, their accounts banned. And um, it's a lot simpler than I think a lot of people are thinking it is. Um, I've meant it, mentioned it in a few comment sections, but... Um, basically people are stealing and i don't condone this and i'm not saying this so people go out and do it so please don't uh please don't do that um because it is theft and it is illegal and it's it's wrong but basically um people are buying a year's worth of eso plus um getting the crowns that come with that and then canceling uh, their membership. So they're getting a refund for the year's worth of um, for their year's worth of ESO Plus, but the crowns stay. Okay? And people are able to do this uh, unlimited times and uh, you know, it takes three days to get the money back or whatever, but as you can imagine, people are just generating massive amounts of crowns illegally. Okay? Um, by the time Zoss found out about it and started banning people, blah, 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 um, you know, it's, it, the damage was done, right? Uh, the massive losses for the company. And I would like to think that they could figure out another way, uh, besides just taking away gifting altogether, uh, to prevent this. Uh, since they started doing the bans, people have moved on to doing chargebacks and other other types of credit card fraud um, to continue this practice, you know, making fake accounts or alternate accounts and doing it so um, when it gets banned, it's not, you know, their primary or whatever. Um, but I think there's some solutions that Zoss could in implement that would uh, prevent this as opposed to not allowing people to buy stuff for gold. For example, they could um, simply say, you know, you're only entitled to one refund a year. Okay? So you get your year of ESO plus. Oh, I only meant to buy one month. I didn't mean to do that. It's a thing right like that happens um so they refund you the money okay you're allowed to do that once a year boom you instantly prevent this type of fraud um okay well what about the new 
chargebacks and, and stolen credit cards and things like that going on. Well, you, you just delay the crown delivery. So let's say you get a year's worth of ESO plus, um, and there's a delay, let's say 60 days or whatever. Uh, if you don't cancel the membership or there's no chargeback within that 60 days, which is the chargeback window, uh, here in the States at least, um, then you get the crowns. By implementing something that simple, um, you, you could prevent this fraud that's happening right now. Um, I don't know the logistics uh, around them having the ability, especially in the mass that it's happening, that if somebody gets the year of ESO Plus and cancels the subscription, how they can go in and remove the crowns. You would think that would be easy, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know enough about, you know, the internal workings of the game or if they can do that. But, um, yeah, I, I'm frustrated. One of the things I love to do in this game is just wake up, drink coffee, and do Ritz. You can see me doing Ritz right now. Um, but they just nerfed it. There's literally no reason for me to do this anymore. Um, you know, because... The only thing left in the game for me to buy is ulti pots. You know, I have right now 17 million gold. Uh, I have 63,000 master rip vouchers banked. Um, you know, in my craft bag, I have more gold mats than I could ever use. Uh, I have literally no reason. To continue playing the game. Um, I've done every single dungeon trifecta. I'm working on trials trifectas. But as soon as that's done. There's nothing else to do. I can't even get the cool stuff from the uh, town store anymore. And that's frustrating. And I hope Zoss comes out with a way... Um, to fix this, uh, besides what they're doing right now, um, putting out a, a thing on, on a Friday that you can't even comment on and let them know how you feel about it, it it's just messed up, man. It, you know, I really enjoy this game, and I feel like it's, uh, it's getting taken away from us, and um, I hope they fix it. Sorry for the rant. I'm sorry for the rambling. Um... You know, again, I don't condone that behavior. I don't say this because I want people to go and do it. Please don't. You will get your account banned. Um, but I think if everybody knew what the actual problem was, uh, it would make Zoss come up with some more creative solutions uh, instead of just stopping the gifting. Uh, I don't think that's helpful. It's definitely not helpful to them. Um... You know, looking at some quick math, I've played this game for five years. It's, you know, $60 a year for the chapters plus, um, you know, plus ESO plus, right? So, well, we're, we're looking at probably $900 I've spent on the game in the past five years. But just going for this mount alone... Um, this Celestial Ram mount, I spent over 9 million gold on crown crates. Literally, this, me farming for this got them $700 in crates that I bought with gold. Um, and wouldn't they want that to continue? I mean, that just makes sense to me. I have a, a 90 crown crate opening showcase on my channel. You know, there's another 300 or so uh, in in just crown crates. So um, they're losing out, we're losing out, and uh, Zoss, please figure out another way because you are going to lose a ton of players, uh, loyal players who really enjoy the game. Um, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.